I want to talk to you guys about um, in-office surgery, basically awake liposuction, awake breast augmentations, awake facelifts, stuff like that, okay? Um, I think this is really confusing to the public because this idea is presented that it's safer to do surgery because you're awake. There's no risk of anesthesia. Well, you have to keep in mind that there's usually reasons that patients do surgery awake. So some facial procedures can be done while you're awake because it's easier to numb the face and we don't have to worry about certain complications that can occur. But for procedures like liposuction, tummy tucks, or breast augmentation, it is my opinion that those procedures should never be done awake. The reason for that is that any procedure like that requires some type of sedation. So we are doing anesthesia then if we provide some type of medication and we sedate. And in fact, if you give a pain medicine and you give a sedative together, that's known as conscious sedation. And that requires monitoring to make sure that you don't stop breathing during the procedure. So if you think about if you've gone to the ER and you've had something done like that or your kids had stitches, they've done conscious sedation and monitored them. So now we're presenting a situation where not an accredited place to do a procedure or maybe accredited, but we're doing a type of anesthesia without anesthesiologists or anyone trained in anesthesia. So it's very difficult and not safe. This requires monitoring of your oxygenation, monitoring of your heart rate, monitoring of your blood pulse. And what happens if there's a complication? 911 gets dialed and patients get rushed to the emergency room or operating room, depending on what's going on. For the case of liposuction, I wanna to touch on this because it is extremely difficult to do liposuction awake. I tried a couple in my earlier career. You have to numb up large areas of the body, and after you numb up the areas, it takes several minutes to numb them. Okay, that is very painful process for patients. So we try to give oral medication to reduce that pain, and again, you put patients at risk. When you start to do the liposuction, you remove some of the fluid that's been put in there that has the numbing medication. And when that happens, it's basically like doing liposuction without any anesthesia whatsoever. That is extremely uncomfortable. The worst part then is that it's difficult to treat the entire torso. Liposuction the abdomen to me means all the way from under the breast to the pubic area, not just below the belly button that I see the patients come in getting botched, or not just in the middle of your tummy where patients come in and get botched. You have to treat that entire area. So you have to numb up that entire area, which also requires a lot of liposuction meaning larger amounts than can be done safely under local alone. So next time you're getting offered an in-office procedure like that, think about why that's happening. Either that provider is not a plastic surgeon or board certified, or they don't have privileges at an accredited center and they're trying to get away with something and doing it in their office. So be very careful. Now it's very different if I do a procedure and I do a touch up on somebody and I do a small area in the office where I'm not giving them any sedatives versus trying to do a large area. Take that even further, imagine doing a tummy tuck, now you're doing skin removal, bleeding, and you're asking for trouble. These are dangerous situations that should never be offered to patients. And so don't be fooled by lower costs. Don't be fooled by the, th the, the thought that it's safer to have a procedure done under sedation without an anesthesia provider present at all, okay? Because safety occurs when you have board certified practitioners taking care of you in accredited centers and that's how you get good, safe outcomes. Thanks.